everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about Data Cloud and Calculated Insight. So I will just jump into Calculated Insight and we will create one together. So I will be clicking on New, Create with Builder, then Next. That's the basic way of doing it. Then I will select Calculated Insight and then I will select an object. So here, uh, what we will do in this uh, Calculated Insight is retrieve all the email address that contain uh, sky.com.io. Uh, from a specific data source. So I will select my object that contain the contact point email. So just if you want to know what objects are accessible, you just need to click on data model and then click graph. Then you will see the number of objects that are accessible uh, within Data Cloud. So as you can see here, you have uh, your individual object, which is the sender, and then contact point email that is directly related. So we will be working on this object uh, directly. You also have the possibility to work on different objects by using join. So for example, I could use uh, the junction of individual object and um, and the contact point email object. But in this case, I'm not very interested. What I will do is I will filter and I will say uh, that I want all the email address. So I will click next. That uh, contains, and here my value will be sky.com.au. Okay. And then I will click apply. So I click apply. This is my filter. So I will filter this object and then I will click aggregate. And within aggregate, I will select um, some information. So I want to filter all um, the email address that are contained um, within the contact point email, but I will I want to count the number of email address. So my measure will be email address here that I will be selecting, and I will call that count email address and then I will use the dimension. So the dimension is literally the space. Where are you counting this email address? Here I will select data source and I will give it a name. So uh, data source. Okay, I will click apply. Uh, that's a pretty simple calculated insight but very useful and very powerful. Uh, I will click save and run and I will give it a name. Uh, count sky email address okay i click next i can schedule it if i want to but in this case we will just run a one-off so i click enable and now i should be redirected to uh, the uh, the regular um, page like the home page for calculated insight i can see a range of information and if i click on expression i can also see the sql query so as you know you have the possibility to use the visual builder or sql query directly um, using the visual editor gives some flexibility. It's more easy um, to use, so I would recommend using that. And now if we click on Calculated Insight, as you can see here, we don't have a last run. So to make it run, we will need to click on the arrow here and click Publish Now. Once we click Publish Now, we should be on Pending for the last run status, and we will have to wait a few seconds to be on Success. So I will pause the video and see you when it's on Success. Okay, so as you can see, now um, the calculated insight that we created is on success. What I will do next is I will click on Data Explorer and I will click Calculated Insight. Once I click Calculated Insight, I will select the calculated insight that we just created, Count Sky email address. And here, it should be able to populate the information. So as you can see, in this data source, we have 54 uh, Sky email address. Um, so that's interesting to know. Because also what I've done before um, is a calculated insight to count the global number of email address within uh, a specific data source. So if we display that, we can see that I have one to 124 email address overall within this data source. However, if I just want to know the, the one that contains Sky email address, I only have 54. So approximately a bit less than one, one half of them. So this is where you can uh, use calculated uh, insight. It's not that complicated at the end of the day. Um, it's pretty much like SQL uh, now or SQL, uh, but this allows you to get insights um, on the data that you are importing uh, into Data Cloud and to run some SQL query on top of it to understand it better. And, um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you got a good understanding of calculated insights uh, within Data Cloud. If you have any question, please let us know. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you.